After you download Charles Proxy, open the program on your desktop or laptop computer. Use a USB cable to plug your mobile device into the computer. In this case, I'll be using an iPhone 6. To proxy your iPhone to Charles, you'll need the computer's internal IP address. Click on Help and select Local IP Address. The first string of numbers is usually the correct IP address. Write this number down because you will need to enter it into your iPhone settings. The next thing you need is the HTTP proxy port number. Close the IP address and click on Proxy and then click on Proxy Settings. The default port for Charles Proxy is 8888. Click OK to close the window. Now open the Settings app on your iPhone and select Wi-Fi. Make sure that your iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the computer it is plugged into. Tap the connected network and swipe to the bottom of the screen. Select Configure Proxy. Then tap Manual. In the Server field, enter your computer's internal IP address. In the Port field, enter 8888. Then tap Save. The proxy should now be saved as manual. Now open Safari on your iPhone and enter the address charlesproxy.com forward slash get SSL. Then tap Allow. Tap on Install. If you have a passcode, enter it now. Then tap Install. The certificate will now be verified. Now tap Done. Go back to your iPhone settings, select General, About, and scroll to the bottom and select Certificate Trust Settings. Enable the certificate and select Continue. Now go back to Charles and set the SSL proxying settings. Click Proxy and select SSL proxying settings. Click Add to enter a host and a port. If you add the wildcard asterisk, every domain that you visit on your iPhone will be decrypted. If you enter a website name, for instance uTest, inside of asterisks, only domains with uTest inside of them will be decrypted. For the port, write 443 because this is the standard port for SSL proxying. Click OK and then click OK again. Verify that your computer is not set to proxy since the device we want to proxy is the iPhone. Click on Proxy and make sure Mac OS Proxy is not selected. If this is selected, make sure to deselect it. To begin recording, click on the record icon and then click File, New Session. Now go back to your iPhone, select your browser, and open a website, such as uTest. The traffic for uTest will be decrypted, but all of the traffic from other websites will stay encrypted. And that's how you set up your iPhone to proxy using Charles. When you're done collecting your log, Click the record icon and go back to your iPhone settings. Remove the certificates and your phone is back to normal. To save the log, click on File and click Save Session As. To return your iPhone to its regular Wi Fi settings, select Settings, Wi Fi, select the network, scroll to the bottom. Select Configure Proxy and click Off, then tap Save. 